Welcome back to In The Mix. Welcome to our new subscribers. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. The Calio Projects was home to a lot of stone-cold steppas and killas. Randall Watts, the Calio landlord, was known to hold court and hold it down for his turf. Randall was from The Cut in the Calio, born April 15, 1968 in New Orleans. His father was a Baptist minister and also a deputy with the Orleans Parish Civil Sheriff's Office. That was not enough to turn Randall away from the streets. If you hung uptown or was from uptown when people said Randall you knew who they were talking about, old people, children, and in between knew who he was, Randall Watts was known all over New Orleans. Uptown, downtown, the east, and across the river. If you heard his name you would pray to God that you never seen his face. He was a feared New Orleans OG. In 1995, Randall catches a murder case where he would eventually be found not guilty. Master P would give Randall a cameo in his hood classic, I'm Bout It movie, which was also supposed to star some Magnolia legends as well such as Terrence Gangsta Williams. But that would be cut short due to the Calio and Magnolia having beef after a cross was thrown. From that cross, the Calio would take their first victim of that war, Hot Boy Mosquito. The night before Mosquito is murdered, Terrence Gangsta Williams was almost killed in the Calio. Randall gave Gangsta a slight heads up, which placed Gangsta on his toes to get out of Dodge. Shortly after Randall's debut in I'm Bout It, he would be gunned down in Thalia Court, shot 18 times. It is noted that Gangsta did not kill Randall Watts. The person who did is now deceased. <laughs> Levi Jonigan III was another steppa from the Calio, made infamously famous by being one of the last few people mentioned on Master P's Bout It, Bout It and In My Ghetto Heroes. This made people outside of New Orleans want to know about the people Master P mentioned in his songs, Levi in particular. Born June 3, 1970, Levi Jonigan was a native son to the Calio Projects. His mother, Donna Jonigan, was and still is active in the uptown New Orleans community where he was raised. Miss Jonigan is very vocal about safe housing and affordable housing and higher quality of living for Hanno residents, in particular how crime plays a part in poverty. Even with Miss Jonigan doing everything she could to make the Calio a better place, Levi would become a product of his environment. He wrote poetry and loved playing basketball with the kids in the driveway. In 1990, Levi had been shot around Thanksgiving. His girlfriend at the time had been preparing Thanksgiving dinner when she was notified about Levi being shot in the Desire Project, and he had been rushed to St. Claude Medical Center. She was pregnant at the time and was in fear Levi would not get to see his future son. Being that in 1989 Levi was charged with first-degree murder during crime, it would come to no surprise of him being shot in 1990. Fast forward to 1995 when Levi went on a mission with another respected steppa. That would be the final mission for Levi as he was shot in the neck and killed during the mission gone awry. Levi would be dropped off in front of Charity Hospital on the ramp where he would pass away. Not much was known to outsiders about Levi but from an article published in 1995, Miss Jonigan, Levi's mother was quoted saying, that she is more angry with Levi for the things he got into rather than the person who took his life. Terrence Gangsta Williams recounts the event that caused Levi's death. Okay. 